It's not as if we all got up in 2019 and discovered the complexity of the world. Uh, this has happened throughout our sort of history, that the world has been complicated. If anything, sometimes I think in the digital world, we have made naive assumptions uh, that there is uniformity, or not recognizing, I think, the legitimate needs people have for their cultural identities, their different approaches, their different priorities. So at least the way I look at it, uh, Professor Schwab, is that we as an industry and we as a world need to recognize both the need for diversity, but at the same time some global norms on key things that we are prioritizing. Yeah. In fact, if you think about the last phase of globalization, which today we criticize for certain impacts it has had, the one thing it did achieve was some real rules and frameworks and global norms. We clearly understand that there were some challenges too. So therefore, this next phase of globalization should not be let's return to a world where there are no global norms, but there needs to be a revised list of global norms realizing that there are real differences. It's a fallacy to think that successful tech products are only created because we employ just the technologists. And in fact, what is technology? And it's very interesting. Today, uh, any team at Microsoft, whether it's on our cloud platform or on Xbox, will have the following composition. It'll have designers, and designers can come from sociology, anthropology, and, you know, and design, yeah. but a variety of different fields. So design is a first class, I would call, a function of product creation. Data science. Uh, data science itself, also people can come from many different mathematical backgrounds. Mm -hmm. We, of course, have to have product managers who are business people who understand customers and scenarios. And then we have software engineers and hardware engineers and so on. So it's a really a multidisciplinary yeah. world, uh, whether it's a banking product, whether it's a healthcare product, or what is considered a pure digital product. It, in fact, requires the social sciences and the STEM uh, sciences to come together to create, I think, the modern society. So um, it's an appeal to all of uh, the businesses, really, uh, to integrate as much diversity into the workforce as possible. That's, I think, what you are doing. Right. I mean, it, and, and, and that's the key. And in fact, one of the things that we have sort of said, look, the business case for diversity is as straightforward as it ever was. It, but it's time to act. And for me, it's sort of, if you want to take my, our mission, we say we want to empower every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more. That's who we are at our core. There's no way we're going to achieve that without representing the world. Uh, so that means diversity when it comes to gender, diversity when it comes to ethnicity, diversity when it comes to skills. Uh, all of this is what's, I think, required in our organizations. But one of the key things you brought up is it's not just having the representation. It is how is the culture of your organization, your institution, going to help people who come from diverse backgrounds do their very best work? And that's where the real challenge of inclusion comes in. And that's hard work, but it's got to be the everyday lived experience that you strive for.